Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Solar City by Games Factory, and it is live on Kickstarter now. And so, oh, and, and I should mention, this is a prototype. I know that they just went through a graphic design overhaul to make it a little bit more legible and poppy. Uh, I believe they're going to have pictures on the campaign of all the changes they've made. But I got to play with this version, which I thought was fine, but I can see the improvement in the changes they did make. But Solar City is a city build, grid based puzzle city builder thing where each player is the same layout of their board. You are going to be acquiring and buying buildings. You're going to be placing them on the board, activating abilities, chaining combos, and doing all sorts of cool things. One of the aspects of this game I like a lot is at the start of the game, you're going to deal out six city cards. And they, uh, the way these city cards work is they represent the building tiles you're going to have in the game. So there are actually tons and tons of different, each tile represents a building. And so there are tons and tons of buildings in this game. Uh, let me see, let me, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, prob they'll probably unlock more, I'm sure, but you're only going to use six in any game, and they all have different special abilities. That's awesome. Tons of replayability, tons of interesting dynamics. The one thing that drove me a little nuts is you have to go through these tiles and constantly be picking and sorting the ones you want. I really hope that in the box they lay it out in such a way that you can store them based on what city they are. Because once you pick your six cities, and I'm gonna do this quickly and not really pick, you pick the six, you shuffle them into piles of two types per pile. There's some instructions around there, but it's simple. And then once you have those in there, that's it. The rest go back in the box. So you lay out your, you've, you've, you've received your six city tiles. They are building tiles. They are put into three piles, each with two pot, with two tiles in them, and then you will take these public work buildings, which have a different back, and you're gonna pick three to start, uh, and then more will come as people buy. So you have those fixed, but these you'll see more different ones. So, I've got all the tiles in play. You've got this little tracker, I hope it's all on camera right now. Really simple, and what players are doing is they are going to be adding buildings to their, to their, to their city. When you do, you add it sort of uh, dark side or building side down, you're gonna be a cost based on, oh, this is upside down, based on how many buildings you have so far. So the first one's free, then the second one costs one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. And when you add a building, you pick the row or uh, the row or column it's been added to and you're gonna activate it. That's what these dials do. When you activate it, all buildings in this row become activated. Uh, so what's happening is as your city's growing, you're getting this combo bonuses of activating the different rows or columns. At the same time, when you do that, that then gets blocked on everyone else's board. So from your uh, on your own board, you're thinking about where am I going to build, what's going to be activated, how do I want to tri triangulate as I'm building things. Um, but you also want to be aware of where other people are playing and perhaps something will impact another player and, and help you out. As this board is filling up with these main buildings or the special public work buildings which just give you like sort of super abilities, you can always, instead of adding a building, flip it to its green side. Basically, dark buildings or the original buildings are all about earning points. Uh, gold, these are all about earning victory points. Um, and as you flip them, these cost a lot to build but they're turning into victory points. Really nice dynamics about around Cards that are good coin cards versus not so good point cards and vice versa. Just really smart. Really smart and interesting positional puzzle ability min-max game. Um, the improvements they're doing to the layout and stuff, which they've already posted online art-wise, uh, I think will make a difference. And if you're into a game where you have to think about where am I going to build something? How am I going to maximize this row and this column, this space? I want these types. Of, it's a little like um, if you've played uh, Between Two Cities. Uh, it's like Between Two Cities, but with way more interesting building effects and powers, but without the sort of side-by-side -side Seven Wonders play. So more interesting building, less interesting player-to-player -player dynamics, perhaps but still very cool. So this is Solar City and it is live on Kickstarter. Hey everybody, Edo here and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, 
league and insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.